everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. Uh, today I am doing a commission piece. Uh, I have a client that wanted me to kind of recreate a painting that I did from a previous open cup pour. Um, but we're changing up the color a little bit and we're changing up the base coat. Um, I will link that video. I'll show it to you over here and you can go see it. But what we're going to do today is keep negative space, whereas I didn't keep negative space on the other one. I'm changing the base coat. Instead of a black, it's going to be a white, but we're going to use in the same theme of the same colors. So, all right, let's get down to the canvas and get started. I'll be right back. All right. So I'm going big today for this commission piece. My base coat is going to be white. So this is Amsterdam titanium white. I'm not using the Artist Loft Soft Body White because we want to go with cells, but we don't want it to get uh, overrun by cells. And now Artist Loft Soft Body White will do some serious selling up. My next color is going to be Amsterdam Azo Yellow Lemon. She liked a ca uh, cadmium yellow, but I didn't have it in stock, so I found one that's really, really close. For some reason, my store is close by. I didn't have it. Uh, my next color is Amsterdam in Azo Orange. Amsterdam in the Primary Magenta. This is a color that I used in a previous painting that she liked. This was my Pearl Glacier Blue from Arteza. Love this color. And then there is a Pearl Turquoise from Arteza. All beautiful colors there. All these paints are mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium paint and Floatrol. I've added no water to this. So the paint just dribbles off the stick, makes a mound, and goes back in. Normally with an open cut pour, I will have them a little bit thinner, but I'm keeping them a little bit thick. I want my colors to hold true. All right, so she wants negative space. So I'm gonna keep negative space on these ends and keep the painting in the center. What I'm gonna do is cordon off an area with white here. So what I'm going to do here is put down some more white, place my cup right in the center, I'm going to pour just a little bit more white right around this edge, help seal that cup a little bit. Now when I pour my colors in, the colors are going to go down beneath the white and shoot out. Primary magenta, and let's go orange. Yellow. Go just a little bit of white. Some of that blue, glacier blue, and now the turquoise. I'm pushing right out in there, which is really cool. Now, since I'm going to disrupt it, I'm going to run my cup through this, but I'm not going to do it yet. But the cells are popping up. You can see it coming up through the white. Really, really cool. I'll probably get a little bit of green once I start moving the cup because of the yellow and the blue are gonna mix, but that's why I put in a little bit of white. Hopefully that'll help separate it. You can really see the cells coming in here. All right, so let's twist. Lifting and twisting. Right. Add 
a little bit of white along here. Place the cup down in the white there. All right, primary magenta. Just fill that sucker up. Orange. Yellow. A bit of white there. Turquoise this time. There's the glacier blue. All right. So we went that way a little bit. That's okay. So because I'm going to keep negative space, I want to stretch corner to corner. I want to be able to break up here because you see a lot of orange, but there's a lot of cells and stuff that are popping back through, a lot of color through there. Let's twist. So I'm just going to kind of twist through here, just dragging it through ever so slightly. And come up. Creates its lines. And off. Ooh, that's a very pretty shape. I've got some great cells through there. That's gonna be cute. Great colors to this. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, it's time to put some extra flow extender down. This needs to be able to flow without running over itself. I'm gonna do that down here too. There we go. Give this a torch. What I'm gonna do is do a little cell activator on those little areas. So I'm gonna take my white cell activator, which is my Amsterdam titanium white and Australian Floetrol. Squeeze just a little bit on here, and I'm gonna run that right through that orange section. That's gonna create some cells. Just in that section. So I'm gonna press lightly, and just kind of move up through there. Kind of creates some cells in that area, but also keeps it where it looks authentic. I'm gonna do the same thing here. All that did was just break up that orange so it just wasn't a huge block. And then what I can do, you kind of pick up a little bit where there's a big block of white and I can just kind of drag it down so it doesn't look so blocked out. So I go up under the white here, just kind of drag, there we go. Kind of creates its own little line. Do the same thing over here. Let's 
move the paint around. I'm going to open it up. And I'm moving very slowly, walking it down, trying not to disrupt the cells too much. Again, I'm just rocking back and forth. That's gonna walk everything down and open things up. Got some wonderful lines in this. I got some great lacing. And the open cup pour just never disappoints. Beautiful streaks. And to top it all off, no green. Green was able to tilt off. So I've got all my true colors. All right, I'm gonna scrape my edges here, torch, and then I'm gonna bring you guys down.
right, guys, that's going to do it for today's piece. That is it. It's still a little tacky here in the center, so I'm not going to hold it up here very long. But it's drying really, really great. I've already showed it to the client. She likes it. So i um, got to let this dry. I'll probably let it dry for two weeks. And then we're going to either put resin or put gloss varnish on it, depending on uh, what she decides. So. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you want some of my art, you can head over to my uh, uh, website at studio15acrylics.com. You can check out what I've got over there for sale. All right, everyone, have a great rest of the weekend. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.